And it's always good to go in a locker room after 60 minutes of playing and, and have a victory. Um, it's also always good to be able to go in on Sunday after a victory and be able to correct some things. So uh, those are, I, I told our team in the locker room, those are the best Sundays. The best Sundays when you can go in the locker room, you got a lot of stuff to correct when you won the game. Because then you get to coach really hard on Sunday. And uh, that's what our goal is tomorrow at the end of practice to be better than we were tonight. That's going to be a hard goal to get, but uh, that's a goal tomorrow is to try to be a, uh, a, better, a better team than uh, we, we were tonight. Uh, heads off to Houston Baptist for all that they had to go through uh, the last week. Uh, you know, I talked to Coach Sheely before the game, and, and uh, you know, they had trouble getting people to work uh, during the week. And I'm not sure they didn't practice until Wednesday or so because they couldn't get people to work. And uh, hats off to what they've done over there in the last four or five years of trying to get the program uh, in the right in the right spot. And you know, uh, I'm sure we'll be on the phone and talk because we're real similar in a lot of ways. I think uh, when it comes to trying to build something, um, as far as the game goes, uh, a typical first ball game. I think if you look across the country today. Uh, I talked to our team in pregame warm up about uh, uh, the difference in ball games, special teams, uh, turnovers, uh, and just true execution, mainly on offense, mainly on offense. Uh, we were able to block a kick tonight, which was really good. We really weren't sharp in some special teams. I thought our kickoff team wasn't very good uh, tonight. Um, uh, we, you know, again, uh, we, we've got a lot of work to do. I think we've got some work to do in our punt game. Uh, offensively, we, we, we shot ourselves in the foot. I think we had four turnovers tonight. I count, I count we had an interception, uh, a safety, uh, a fumble, and a turnover on downs. I count all four of those as, as, as turnovers. And now we got four on defense. We got the same thing really on defense We did, uh, uh, with that. We had five sacks tonight. So uh, I don't think we had, I think we had five total last year. Uh, we had five sacks tonight, so uh, we were better there. Uh, we played a lot of backs tonight. I'm, I'm really proud of those guys, other than the one fumble that we had. Um, uh, again, I think we got a lot of work to do uh, in a lot of areas. And a lot of it's timing. A lot of it's timing things. A lot of it's up front blocking uh, and just the mechanics, and, and mainly on offense. Um, but I'm proud of the way the kids fought. I mean, again, you, you give up. Uh, nine points early, and then you don't go up another point until uh, the fourth quarter. So uh, defensively, I thought we did some good things, but uh, we got some work to do on that side of the ball. Okay, questions? It seems like as the game went on, mm -hmm. your players got your team got better. It seemed like they, mm -hmm. you know, they started out a little maybe in some first team jitters. Sure, that's what it no was question. in that first half. I, you yeah, know, I think I think if you looked at every team across America. You know, I, I'm, maybe maybe Clemson looks you know like they're a well old machine or something like that. They just won the national championship. Uh, we didn't last year. If we didn't remember that, uh, uh, you know, teams are going to be that way early. They're going to be. They're going to have some jitters early. And I knew we'd have that. I, you know, we knew going into this ball game, a lot of young guys were going to be out there on that field, and they were going to have big eyes in the first ball game. So uh, I think they settled down. I think we played better late in the second quarter. We played, you know, a little bit better in the third quarter. Uh, again, but we've got a long way to go. And, and again, this is just this is a baby step to to trying to be better tomorrow. Again, not even worrying about next ball game tomorrow than uh, than we were tonight. You mentioned that the defense. Didn't allow a point in the second. Half. Mm -hmm. What was different from them for the first half to the second half? I, I just think that they settled down and played. I mean, I think it's just like our entire team. Uh, offense is a little different because it's, there's a lot of execution pieces to it. There's throwing and catching. I mean, we had some wide open receivers. We overthrew them tonight and we missed some balls and that kind of stuff. Defensively, it's about, okay, I got this responsibility. Go play it and go string plus two to get your job done. And I thought, or, I thought in the second half we did a little bit better than that, uh, than we did in the first half. You started Damian Williams. Mm -hmm. What did you think of his performance? Uh, I thought it was okay. Uh, again, uh, for a guy that missed the first week, three weeks of camp, uh, coming out tonight and trying to uh, trying to do some things. He, you know, he's got a lot of work to do. There, there's some mechanical things that that go back from the spring that that we didn't have a chance to work on him during camp because he wasn't here. And uh, he threw a couple balls high and, and and off target because a lot of that has to do from the waist down. It has nothing to do with his arm. And uh, we didn't get those days in training camp because he was not on our team. You only played Willie Jones that one series. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, 
know, you kind of talked about how you might play a couple guys in this mm -hmm. game, but he only got that one series. What, in, what went into that decision? Did you just like the way Damien was playing? Or? Uh, we, we're going to, you know, it's going to be a game-to-game -game decision on how, you know, how they play. You know, but we're, he'll play some more. You mentioned that you guys kind of shot yourselves in the foot on offense. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you can point to that, that caused that during the game? I'd have to watch the film yeah. to, to tell you what caused it. Anthony Smith ended up being your leading rusher. Mm -hmm. you know, the spot, he started out with Taylor and Brown, mm -hmm. you know, went in there, big run for a touchdown. Right. What, what can you say about the true freshman? He's very talented. He's very talented. Uh, the, the, he'll get more touches when he understands protections and can, uh, uh, I guess, calculate what we call and get it done as far as protecting the quarterback in the pass game and understanding where the holes are in the run game. The more he understands that, the more he'll play. You know, I feel like we got three backs that can go play. Didn't see Jalen Nelson. I was mm -hmm. looking forward to seeing him. He was on kickoff team. You missed him. Oh, I, mean, I must not have been paying attention. Yeah. What about Elijah King's performance? I know we're going to talk to him a little bit. I, I, thought, he, I thought he played well. I thought he did some good things. Uh, again, obviously, uh, uh, you know, there's some things we, we want to get better at. And I know Elijah will tell you he's got to be better tomorrow than he was tonight. So, you know, and you'll get a chance to ask him that question here in a minute. You know, all fall camp, you're talking about how the back end of your defense, mm -hmm. you know, is a little concerning. And there was one drive, I know, where they had two pass interferences on the mm -hmm. corner, kind of set up, set up the Huskies. Mm -hmm. What can you do to kind of clean up some of that stuff? You know, a lot of that's first game stuff. A lot of that's, you know, just getting a feel for how to play the game. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's tough sometimes out there until you go play an opponent to understand what that looks like, especially at corner. It really wasn't the safeties at all. And that's where I'm more concerned. It went in the corners that I'm is concerned about, but uh, they played a little softer tonight because first ball game. You know, I, I, I watched some. I watched about three games today, and I saw it all across the country today. You know, I noticed there was no Thurman Morbley. I mm -hmm. spring his foot earlier yep. in the ball game. It's the same deal. So Thurman Morbley was suspended for the ball game for uh, university and team rules, along with the Dilla Rosemont and Stefan Johnson was university and NCAA. So we had three guys suspended in the ball game. Is there, can you elaborate on nope. why there's just, nope. just that? I just told you. Can they come back? Oh, yeah. Thurman should be back next week. Uh, Dilla should be back next week. And Stefan has another week. You talked in going into the week that you were anxious to see how those young guys came sure. out and played. What did you think about what you saw from them today? Again, I'd have to look at the tape. It's hard for me to evaluate. I don't know how many young guys we played tonight. We played a bunch. Um, so I'd have to look at the tape and kind of give you, you know, call me on Tuesday. What about the offensive line? How can you assess their performance? You know, I, I think for the first ball game, we did some good things. We saw a lot of different stuff up front tonight. That, that team that we played tonight was blitzing from every angle known to man tonight. And uh, they, saw, they saw the kitchen sink tonight, which was probably good for them. They've seen that in camp a little bit too, but not quite like what they saw tonight, different type of blitzes. So I expect them to be better tomorrow night when they leave the practice field than they were tonight. You know, you got a pretty big opponent next week, Colorado. What are what are some things that you want to focus on? You you focus on your team cleaning up. I'm gonna focus on taking a shower, and going to see my wife, and then being a better team tomorrow than we were tonight. Fair enough.